So um, I'm recording it at this very moment, so no worries. Okay, after that, I will convert that into a, a MP4. So I will share it with you guys. But just that you need, you guys need to download it from um, from the uh, website, yeah, from the website itself. Now uh, I'm gonna mute all of you. Okay, so you will not be able. Okay, great. Okay, hi, hi. My name is Alistair. I am basically the product owner of uh, Niraj. Unfortunately, 26 full. I cannot put in some more people. Yeah, okay. So next time, perhaps. So this is recorded, so no worries. You can share this with your friend if they can attend, okay? Now, um, uh, okay, back to here. Absolute living. This is what you be having for the 2016 absolute living, okay? So absolute living, then uh, one of this uh, theme is feel absolutely, okay? So feel absolutely. This is for chip saver, okay? So um, 2016, just remember absolute, absolute Absolutely. So feel absolutely with Trip Saver. Now, Trip Saver. First of all, before I go deep into the product, you need to know uh, a bit of history here and there. Now, Trip Saver, as you can see, uh, the color is uh, blue and red, and with the two birds in there. Okay, it has meaning. Now, uh, if you're familiar with a um, holiday product, okay, so you can always relate that to to Q. QVI club, Q breaks, and QVI points, and so forth, isn't it? Okay, so we used to have a lot of Q because end of the day we are QNet, we are QI, yep. Yeah. But for 2016, um, we think of having a bit of change. What that changes? We don't use the Q anymore, but we put the word trip saver for two reasons. You can see that there's two birds in there. The first thing is the big bird is to represent this product is going to bring you around the globe to give you the um, you know the access to uh, hotel accommodation, to car rentals, to tours and activities for many many more in different phases. Okay. Um, this is only the phase one. Then we will move on to phase two and phase three and phase four. We are going to get better and better. And that is the big bird. What about the second bird? The second bird is the financial freedom that we are talking about. Now, this particular product, Trip Saver, okay, and you can see the word Trip Saver is, oh, that must be some some jokers who made the word wrongly, you know, without the without the e there. Okay, it should be S A V E R. No, it is done purposely because when you have something that you think is spelled wrongly, it kind of register in your memory that oh, okay, you can bring up this from time to time. Okay, all the time. What I mean. So trip saver is spelled as T R I P S A V R because this is what this product is for saving for you okay trip saver as the word saver is saving for you now um, that will be like uh, what's the color for the blue and uh, red okay of course it's nothing related to the United States America even though they have the flight with this color okay it's just happened that this color blends in very well and is very striking okay so are you ready for absolute living Okay, now, this is my presentation. Um, basically, I'm the business uh, development and training uh, manager. I'm taking care of the product. And, uh, of course, I have many years of experience in travel. So, um, my job here is to make sure that I train you and you know what to tell people when you have challenges or people are coming to you and say that, okay, I have this problem and this problem uh, on this website. So, what should I do and how should I can, how do I talk to people? Now, TripSaver um, is designed in a way to help you to tap into the potential prospects, okay, to so the potential prospects, okay. So before I go any deeper, this is very important that you should know, okay. I think you don't know, that's why do you know. Now, there are two big boys out there. When I say big boys, we are talking about billion dollars worth of, uh, you know, uh, 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 organization, okay. So Expedia, I reckon most of you have heard of this company. I bet so. Yeah, 
Okay. Now, are you aware that um, uh, this company, in fact, is a Nasdaq, a Nasdaq company, which is in the New York Stock Exchange, and then um, they do have a range of their sister company. Okay, sister company, for example, like Expedia.com, Hotels.com, uh, Trivago, I think is very popular am amongst you guys. And then we have Travelocity, Orbitz, you know. These company, they are under the mother or parent company of Expedia. Now, can you imagine 90% of the online reservations are done either in Expedia or another big player called Priceline. Okay, Priceline is very popular um, amongst those people who love to travel by plane. Okay, so they go to Priceline or Kayak.com, they will check the air, uh, the air tickets and all this. And of course, they are most significant uh, uh, you know, sister company will be Booking.com. Booking.com, I think everyone knows this company. Okay, so again, these two players, they control 90% of the online reservations. Now, what happened to the 10%? The 10% are either the transaction done by customers directly with the, with the hotel on their websites or by some of the global uh, distribution system. For example, if you have ever heard of um, Trade Winds, Gulliver's, okay, or uh, you have those like, uh, for example, like Insight and so forth, those are the global distribution system. Uh, and most of the airlines, they will make reservation through them, okay. So uh, these will control all the reservations that uh, in a virtual environment, okay, we could talk about. Uh, online booking. Now, so what is the role of TripSaver? Since you have the big boys of Expedia and the big boys of Priceline, what we basically vow to do is to beat their prices, to offer our IRs, our retail customers, as well as our TripSaver members the best price as we can guarantee you. Okay, so coming to this, what if TripSaver? TripSaver is an easier and cheaper way to travel, and it makes especially for you. Now, of course, um, you you will come across a lot of those like, things. Like uh, you will tell me, okay, when I go to Booking.com, I don't need I don't need to register as a member. Uh, whoever can go. But uh, what is so special about TripSaver? Now, TripSaver, as of now, it is a membership. Okay, this membership has nothing to do with whatever QBI Club membership that you have with you because just put them aside. This is a totally different product. Empty your cup. Empty your cup. Okay, so it's a new product. Yeah, so what is this trip saver? Is this a global um, membership which helps you to get the best deal and the best uh, hotel accommodation that you can get online? Okay, now. Um, the third thing is TripSaver has a 110% price guarantee, meaning like this. Now, you are already a member or you are an IR using TripSaver or you're a retail customer of TripSaver. So you go online and make a reservation of this ABC hotel at $100. And then after a few minutes, you go on to Agoda. Oh, God. Okay, the same hotel, the same check-in dates okay and uh, check out dates okay and mm, god is ninety dollars it means that trip saver is ten dollars more expensive than than agoda.com so what will happen is you can do a screenshot and contact our customer care customer care at tripsaver.com okay and then we will do a verification if in this case it is verified that we are more expensive than goto.com by ten dollars what we will do is we'll refund on your reservation hundred dollars which is the amount that you pay for your reservation hundred dollars and on top of that we will provide you a ten percent okay as a compensation because we can beat the price okay this ten percent will be in dollar savings which will be stored in your uh, savings bank okay in your dollar savings bank so you can use it for your future reservation okay so this is one way that we want to guarantee what we offer you will be the best however there are three different things that you have to look in here which will not 
okay, which will not apply on this price guarantee, 110% price guarantee. The first one will be if this rate that you are booking from TripSaver is non-refundable, okay, non-refundable, and if you go to Agoda, the rate is also the same as non-refundable, then this will not apply on the 110% price guarantee, okay? So now, is this special? Only TripSaver is doing this? No. All this big players under this environment, in this what we call the industry standard, the 110% price guarantee, okay, happens to every online travel agency. Okay, so it will not apply on the non-refundable rates. The second thing will be, if you are booking like uh, you have 100 people, you want to have a uh, uh, three days to nine meetings in the hotel. So you go straight to the hotel and tell them, okay, I want to have 50 rooms on twin sharing basis and um, give me the best price. Okay, so of course you have checked already what is the rate in booking.com, agoda.com, treatsaver.com, and then the hotel give you a rate at uh, $80. Of course, $100 and $80, $80 will be cheaper. Why? Because this is a specially negotiated rate between you as an, a group organizer with the hotel. So the hotel has the right to give you the best rate, but this is considered as an ad hoc rate. Ad hoc means it is only for specific events or for specific uh, uh, um, occasions. Okay, so in this case, you cannot use that against TripSaver and tell and tell us that okay, you see, this is cheaper. No, you can't. Yep. The third one, if you're working in the government department, and of course, government servants, you guys are entitled to certain room rates because you will have meetings in the hotel, okay, or you, you'll be having a special deal with the hotel and so forth. Again, that kind of rates, you can go to TripSaver and ask for a 110% price guarantee, okay? So these are the three exceptions. And of course, there are um, some more, but I will not go deep into those because those are not really that significant, okay? Now, coming to this, TripSaver also provides daily tours as well as airport transfer and all this, and you can get them under the activities, yeah? So, just a revision, you can book hotel accommodation, you can book car rentals, and of course, you can book tours and activities through TripSaver. And um, there, there will be more other travel services coming along, um, you know, along the way, but it will be coming in phases or in stages, okay? Now, the last point, that is the most important point. So, what is TripSaver? TripSaver also of enables you to have your own network of travelers through the membership. As I mentioned earlier, this is a membership. So, what does it do? Your job is very simple as an IR. Your job is just to refer someone to be the member, okay? When, the more you refer, you can see more potential. And what are these potentials? I will let you know later. Just have to follow me, okay? So let's move on to the next part. Oh, TripSaver is moving, okay? The bird is flying, so fly with me. Okay, now, TripSaver.com, this is the site. However, how to get it as an IR? As an IR, you must go to the virtual office and get them, okay? It has been launched on 27th of May, okay? May 27th, and today is already fourth day, the fourth day. Uh, so far, the sales has been very, very positive. And of course, after your session here, I expect you guys to do something about it. So the number from that 100 over purchases will go up to 200 over. Okay, now coming to this, uh, this is a summary, very clear cut. So what are this trip saver? Okay, the trip saver. Oh, Ram, I'm so happy. Thank you for support. Okay, Ram has purchased that. So who will be the next? Okay, let's go. Okay, 100 saving package. Uh, sorry, we have four different packages. We have 1,000, sorry. And we have 2,000, we have 5,000. And of course, we have 200. Wow, but what are the differences here? Okay, now, the first thing is when you look at the three 
1,000, 2,000, and 5,000, these are the qualifying products. Because when you purchase them, apart from the savings value you're going to get, you also get your BVs and RSP. Now, this, th this three of these uh, saving packages are mainly made for IRs who would like to open up their tracking center or tracking centers. Okay, so we have 500, 1,000, and 3,000. Wow, 3,000. Now, look at this. The 1,000 saving package is IR price 330. So if you are getting someone to sign up as a retail customer or as a uh, uh, an IR for the first time, of course, you're purchasing under $360. Okay, now, just give you one example. 100 savings package you are not getting it for free. You have to buy. You have to pay $330 to get $1,000 savings dollar. Now, coming back to this, if a person asks you the question, so what is the actual value of the savings dollars? Very simple. $1,000 minus $330. $670. That is the actual value of your savings dollar because you need to pay before you can get the savings dollar because remember there is no free lunch on earth isn't it so you need to buy something to get the savings dollar so it is very clear cut so as you can see if you are very good in calculation you will notice that the bigger that you buy the bigger the package you buy the more the cheaper it gets and of course the more savings dollar you get and the higher the higher BVs that you get, okay? So coming to this 5,000 savings dollar, you only pay 1,600 US dollars. You'll be able to get $5,000 worth of savings dollars, okay? Now, what is the currency in trip saver? It's called the savings dollars, okay? That is the currency in there. Now, the question also come to me is like, um, is it available in India? Okay, it is not available in India, but I'm sure you can consult your upline. The upline will tell you that there is a way for you guys to purchase it. So how? I don't know. Consult your upline. Okay. And also another question is that um, if I buy this savings dollar, do I still need to pay to make the reservation? Of course you need to. The savings dollars is just a savings amount of savings dollar that you can have on the reservation. But eventually, you still have to use your credit card or you can use your e-card to complete the transaction. So it doesn't mean that you have 5000 You can book for a hotel for 5000 and totally you can offset everything. No, it doesn't work this way. The savings dollar, remember, is the savers to help you to save more money on your reservation. Later, it comes to the, um, the live site. I'll be able to show you what I mean by then. Okay? Now, these are the three uh savings packages which are meant for qualifier and of course we have one for the rsp now the rsp is very interesting because it's only at 200 savings package you're paying 40 okay so a lot of people are saying that okay now considering that okay alistair i'm not good at mathematics but i think i can do a simple calculation 40 times five times is $200, I can get 1,000 savings, the same amount. However, you have missed out something is your BVs is only five times of 10, which is 50 BVs, okay? Because you will not get 5,000. So that makes the difference. Sometimes people will buy the RSP because it is for their rank advancement under the RSP um, um, uh, line itself okay so there's and remember there's always another channel to have your income which is under the RSP plan now we are also taking part in the RPP RPP is something very important because that will make sure every month that you will not miss out on your RSP maintenance and your RSP qualification so RPP is a way that you don't have to remind yourself I always have problem I have two three cards, credit cards at the month, and I need to think of which date and what, which, which account to pay first and so forth. But with this RPP, is a solution to, to that question, uh, to that particular challenge, okay? That is, everything is already planned. You sign up on the RPP plan on this particular date. This amount will be deducted from your credit card. Then it will get you the 2000, uh, 200 savings package straight into your 
um, your savings bank. Okay, so this is one of the program you should consider. And furthermore, it is cheaper. It is cheaper by six dollars. Okay, so should try that. Now, if you are an existing IR and you have been in the business for a long time, I reckon that you have a lot of e-voucher. Don't waste them. You can get the redemption. One thousand savings package, only twenty EP. Compared to, you see, the 200 savings package is 10 BP. Of course, I am a clever one. I will get for the 1,000. Try it first, and then from here, who knows? You love it, and you, you know how to go about it. You can introduce this product to other people, which will help you eventually. Okay, now let's move on to, so far on this, we move on to a um, uh, an IR or a retail customer under QNET, their purchase experience, how it goes. Um, Ram, I can't answer you on this, okay? So uh, remember, as I mentioned, this is under world plan, okay, under world plan. So your EPA in India, unfortunately, it can be applicable on this, yeah, okay? But it's no harm, you can contact the uh, GSC and find out if it can be used, okay? If it can be used on any of this QNET products, okay? Sure, it can be used on TripSaver, okay? So you have to find out yourself on this, yep, yeah, okay. Now, as an IR or a CU customer, CU means retail customer under QNET, they will purchase a product first, which is uh, like this, the rest of the QNET products, okay? And as soon as that, you will receive the e-certificate. However, for TripSaver, is a bit different. Apart from the e-certificate, you will receive the e-welcome letter. In the e-welcome letter, there will be your IRID, as well as the password, okay? Now, the question will be, um, why is that a special password given to me? And I will start getting confused because I have my own IRID, which is logging into QNET.net, and then now you give me a different password. So I get confused. Okay, a very simple question is, are you not allowed to change your password? Okay, so very simple. The first time might be a bit confusing. No problem. Use your IRID, use this password, log on to your tripsaver.com. After that, go to the account setting and change the password, which is the one similar to your login to qnet.net. That's it. That solution is given to you right this very moment, isn't it? Okay, now we solved the problem. Now the question also is like, why should I log in using my IRID or I use my CU ID? Very simple question. Okay, a very simple answer I'm going to give you. If you were to go to having the same law, um, same uh, ID for your gmail.com, for your hotmail.com, for your yahoo.com, you see every time you log in, you want to si sign up an, an account, you know, an email uh, account. You might, you might love this, uh, I love TripSaver, okay, at gmail.com, but you might not get the same thing, I love TripSaver at yahoo.com it might be i love tripsaver123 at yahoo.com eventually you just get mixed up you don't know which one for which one so to make things easier that's why we use your irid as the login the password yes first time is the designated password but it can be changed later according to the password that you like okay so after this what you need to do is to log on to tripsaver.com and you can start exploring what TripSaver can provide you, okay? So this is how it goes. Once you log on to TripSaver.com, this is after you have purchased the product, you receive the e-welcome letter, it will basically tell you your login is your IRID. And the password is the password that you use, okay, when you can see from your e-welcome letter. You don't log in using your QNET password okay you use the password which is given in the e welcome letter so as soon as that just click on login once you click on login you are in tripsaver.com however there is this page which will appear what does it uh, you know what does it do in in your whole process here now this is a registration form to update your details Okay, because what we have is the basic information which you, you which you have previously under QNET. So all this information might be 
um, you know, outdated. So you need to update them for two reasons. The first reason is, if, if you are aware, there are some countries in the world, for example, like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, uh, in some, some part of UAE, they are very straight about, um, you know, uh, genders, okay? A male unmarried will not be able to share the same room with a female unmarried, okay? So to avoid all this, when you're making a reservation, the system will be able to kind of capture if this particular person sharing a room with a female, if they are putting rooms together in the same room, then we will ask for a marriage certificate. If there is no, then we will have to tell them that this reservation must be cancelled because we cannot proceed. We don't want you to end up in the jail in those countries. Okay, so um, this is to make things easier. Okay, I see some question in there. I will answer you guys later. Okay, no worries. You can keep having your questions coming up. Okay, I will answer one after another. Now, coming to this, the second point, why you need to fill out this? Because once you fill out this, because sometimes you guys log, uh, sign up and uh, as an as an uh, a customer of QNET and at the time Frank's about as especially for female yeah you guys are we're still single at the time but when you got married you changed the name to your husband's uh, family name and so forth so that you need update and all this inf information was updated when you are making a reservation you don't need to fill this information like your name your uh, your nationality your phone number your marital status and all this thing because automatically the system will just do a population for you that means you click on your name everything will be automatically populated so it makes things very easy so especially when you're rushing to make a few reservations at one at, at, at one time okay so you can finish one reservation very quickly okay this is for who not for me but for you that's why you need to fill out this form after you fill everything scroll down and click OK and this box will disappear then it comes the dun -dun -dun, the important thing that is my dashboard okay so I would always emphasize on this my dashboard why because this is for you is me specially for you so what is in my dashboard okay I go with something less exciting to something very exciting okay now the first thing you will see is my savings my savings bank okay once you click on this it will give you a summary of uh, your purchases under the QNET okay let's say you have purchased a product uh, of this uh, 1000 savings dollar then it will appear here with the information of 1000 and then if you have used it somehow somewhere okay and will give you eventually you can see this is your this is your debit okay this is your debit is like your accounting yeah you have credit and debit this is your debit this money that you come in okay so the next thing is you will also be able to view your reservation now this viewing reservation is to tell you what reservations you have done which one you have already stayed completed which one you have cancelled because of certain circumstances or which one is upcoming woo woo you are going for your holiday so with all this information you will know that eventually the deduction is done based on how much balance that you have in here and this is your credit so the credit and the debit when you plus and minus everything you'll be able to see this is the balance okay so if you want to kind of track on uh, tracking your how you use your savings bank and so forth you can track from here and from the savings bank you this is where the money comes you have purchased okay will be all kept in here so this one minus this one this is what your balance will be okay so this is very simple and of course and this view reservation let's say you have some upcoming reservation just happen that you cannot go you want to cancel there is a cancel button next to messages okay so you can always um, make use of this view reservation to track your your transactions okay now of course what are, are the function before I go to this one you have account setting this is where you um, you can change your password and so forth now profile remember just now you fill out this that, that big form 
that the window the top pop up now sometimes like for example I'm just making this out of Joe yeah okay um, you might be a male the moment you enter Thailand you you do something to yourself you come out as a female so make sure you also update the profile in here yeah okay now that's just a joke for you guys okay relax a bit okay now coming to this the most the most 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 important thing of this my dashboard for you okay is refer a friend okay refer a friend is the center of attraction now refer a friend is for you now be frank be frank to me every time when you are doing prospecting okay you get your best friend to give you a list your grandmother to give you a list your grand auntie to give you a list your girlfriend your boyfriend give you a list okay and you start calling these people hi uh, this is uh, Alistair I would like to uh, uh, introduce something to you and then can we meet somewhere okay so I can I can pro propose something to you a presentation but most of this presentation for example 100 that you do maybe five got signed up the rest rejected you so this particular product trip saver to help you to tap into this customer because the first rejections to you is like I don't want to be in this business in your type of business okay so that is the first cut the second one will be um, I am not into doing all this what I'm happy with my life okay I just want a simple product which will allow me to travel okay so this is what they tell you so with this what you need to do is when they say a rejection to you say oh no worries okay uh, we can always keep in touch can I just get your email address okay of course you need to have a phone number yeah which you have already got okay just make sure that you get their email address because this email address will help you to generate leads as well which will help you for your business which again the person who become who you refer will not know that in fact you they are in part of your business okay the first thing for example I got the list here okay the first one will be Krishnan okay Krishnan I got his first name I got his last name I got his email address as well okay and then I can type here as um, Krishnan I met you a few days ago you might not be interested in uh, my type of business however since uh, I met you I have used this product a lot uh, I think it's good product you should try it okay so best regard Krishnan and you send this message out this is a template made specially for you only as an IR uh, okay so what will happen as soon as you click this it will become an email okay an email to the recipient like you sent Krishnan sent to me he met me a few days ago I said no to him but I gave him my email address so when he sent an email to me that particularly fill out the template and sent I received this okay love it and you must try it and then over here is trip uh, it's a 25 savings dollar for me because what I need to do is if I sign up this free trip saver account I'll be able to receive 25 savings dollar this is something dropped from the sky I never trust this that something will drop from the sky like this do you believe it I I don't believe it but now I can see something but how do I get this yes you need to go to tripsaver.com and you need to activate it or you need to register using this activation code now what is this activation code for you as an IR once you send it out at the back end of TripSaver will generate an activation code which will tie up with your IR ID okay so if this person signs up as a free member your this activation code will be activated and go straight into your IR ID which will later generate something very 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 lucrative for you bear with me yes very lucrative but you have to listen to me okay don't be carried away yep okay now coming to this so if I receive this I might mm, act on it or I might just put it aside I would not want to do anything so how can you do what should you do you see dear Alistair is here he has already received the email but I don't know if he has, he has already registered or not yes no worry so you can always trace the people 
okay who has done something or who has not done something how click on refer uh, uh, refer a friend and then you can see my name in here click on view once you click on view a window will pop up who make this we make this for who for you as an IR because we'll make sure you have a tracking way to track your potential okay so registration here let's say I have not done anything I received the activation code the email but I'm not done anything so that would be a blank in here however if I have already registered because it tied up with your IR ID so you'll be able to see there is a tick in here if I've made the first reservation there will also be a tick if I purchase additional savings there will be a tick now tell you the truth once the three ticks have appear in here <laughs> that is the time you can wake up late in the morning have your cup of tea sitting at your favorite desk or favorite Starbucks and wait for the RSP to drop to you okay how does it happen let me tell you okay now of course before I go further telling you further things if let's say Alistair is just a stubborn person he doesn't sign he doesn't register you can always click on send reminder and that Alistair will receive the same activation code and to push him to read the emails once again remember this don't misuse or don't abuse the send reminder because okay because once you send it out if you do it too frequently it will become a nuisance okay a nuisance so please don't do this maybe the first week you send out okay and then the following week if there's no response you see don't see any regist registered tick here then you can see another reminder that is good for you now all this is made specially for you as an IR as well as a CEO customer but CEO customer remember they are just recruiting another person for you uh, for for the uh, whoever refer them okay they won't do it they won't get anything okay but the person who gets it will be the IR someone who is in the business okay coming to this now this is a free member this is as a free member Alistair is a free member because Krishna sent the email to me so I received the email with an activation code so what I need to do is go to tripsaver.com and then I key in my email address and I use the activation code and I key in a password which I like to put in there okay and then I just have to register once I registered I will receive an e-welcome letter just to tell me that yo yo Alistair you are now a free member just remember your login is the email address that you put in when you do a registration and the password that you put in put in as the one that you preferred from that moment on you become a trip saver customer then you just have to click on this um, tripsaver.com just like this look at here how it is done I received the email from Krishnan so then it said I will receive 25 savings dollar this is a bait okay like I'm a fish hungry fish I just want to get the 25 savings dollar so I just register because it's free after all and I got 25 savings dollar is a good deal okay then what I need to do next is to put in the activation code and after that I key in the password which I like and then I put another uh, password which is to confirm the first password I put in here then I click on agree and then I click on sign up from this very moment I'm already a member a member of trip saver and 25 savings dollar will be deposited into my savings bank okay so the next thing I need to log in to see if the 25 savings dollar is there so I click on trip saver customer I key in my email address that I put in here and the same password and I click on lock in now guys how many steps very simple receive email one step email address activation code two step password three step confirm your password four step click on terms and condition five step sign up six step I'm already a member for someone who wants to get this free membership is one of the easiest thing even a three years old boy can do it okay so 
what stops other people to sign up? There's no way that can stop them. Unless these people have no computer, we don't talk about that, okay? And no internet. Okay? If they have that, very simple. Okay, so now I lock in. Once I lock in, I will see something like this. Of course, at this very moment, I will go to the real site, okay? This is the real site, okay? Now, uh, I lock in. I'm using my name as... Uh, Antarctica, this is my name, Antarctica. That is so glamorous, isn't it? Okay, Antarctica. Okay, now, I before I go further, there's some question in there. Mm, okay, yes, if you're IR, you log in your IR ID. Okay, uh, Mumita, I can tell you if you're using your IR, Indian IR ID, if you purchased another channel or another way, yes, your login is still under IR ID. Yep. Okay. If you purchase under CU, of course your CU ID will be the one that you lock in. Okay. So uh, and then of course there will be another questions. Do we get B BVs when purchasing by EP? Uh, Pan cash? No. Okay. Because it's redemption. There's no uh, BVs for you. Okay. Of course, that's the last one is. Um, the savings, the savings dollars has no aspiration. Your account has no aspiration. It will be with you for as long as you like. Okay, remember that is the important things. And there is no aspiration on the savings dollar because they are here for you to use until it goes zero. That's when you buy the new savings package. Okay, so as everything is for you. Okay, yes. Uh, Shantanu, uh, Shantanu, I will give it to you shortly, okay? Now, having said that, I am Antarctica. I'm a sign up by Krishnan, okay? I see that, okay, I got, uh, I accumulated somewhere. I got $164, okay? This is not true because I should get $25 because this is my test account, my own test account, okay? Now, uh, why is less money? Because I have already used it to make one reservation, okay? And I stay in the hotel already. Yeah, okay. That's why I have I have less money in here. Okay, now now I am very excited. So what should I do? Once I log in, in here, now let's say uh, I have I want to make a reservation. Okay, I want to go to the beautiful city of Dubai because I want to go to the tallest building on earth at this moment. So I want to go there for let's say five nights, okay? So I want to make a reservation. Okay, oh, sorry, not Dubai. I should change this. I want to go to London. Okay, guys, this is a test account at this moment, so I better do something realistic, yeah? Okay, so let's say I want to go to London, okay? Don't be afraid. Don't look at London as very expensive. If later you want to do another demo on Kuala Lumpur, on, on Thailand, I'm more than happy to do this. Why I want to do London? Because I want to show you something, okay? This is where the the... S11, the money side comes from. Okay, now coming to this. Yeah, sure. Okay, now London, this is where I'm going. It's still searching because it's generating the best rate from the back end. Okay, yes, uh, kind of like consolidate that. Now let's say I am going to stay in. I don't have a lot of money, so I want to stay at a two star hotel. Okay, so uh, I might be able to go down to a three star. Okay, let's say I go for a three-star hotel, which is in here. Presidential Service Apartment, uh, Merrill Bone, okay? Now, looking at this, this is just an example I want to show you, yeah? Now, if you can imagine, if this is an IR, who wants to make a reservation, okay, for this hotel? And then, when he's about to book at the site here, it shows... Because this person only have one hundred sixty-five dollars, is based on the savings bank balance. This is the the maximum this person can save for this presidential service apartment. However, there it says here you can see there is a potential to save another nine hundred sixty-three dollars. If you were Antarctica, don't you think you want to get this additional savings? Definitely, I want to do this. Okay, so. What this person will do next is, remember, 963, okay? This is how much additional savings this person can get. So how to get this savings? Click on Learn How. When you click on Learn How, then 
a window will pop up like this. It tells you that you can purchase $49 paying a, using your credit card $49. You can get 2,000 savings. And then if you pay $79, you can get 500 savings dollar. Now, just now, it says I have a potential of 974. It means that I might need to buy one of 79, which gives me 500, and two of this 49, which gives me 400, will come up to about 900 savings dollar. So I can get, I can get the maximum of savings, isn't it? So, 963. Okay, so I will buy 79 for ones and 49 for two. Now, for them, yes, for a, a member, a trip server member, this sounds nothing, okay, because this is a savings, but I don't know what is going on behind the scene for an IR. For you, what will happen? Very simple, okay? So when an IR, we just come back to the original stage, yeah? IR, send an email to this uh, retail, uh, for this, to this prospect, okay? Now, the IR here is Krishnan. Alistair is someone, a prospect, but he has rejected Krishnan. But Krishnan got my email address and used that, that particular uh, gizmo and sent me an email with the activation code. Alistair is tempted because he will get 25 savings dollar and he, once he sign up for the free membership, then he used the activation code and sign up. He becomes a customer of TripSaver.com. And it's nothing to do with QNet because he said no QNet business. Okay, so he received a 25 savings dollar. So what happened then? Yes, when Alistair is about to make the reservation for just now the hotel in London, there is something saying that he can save more money. So Alistair is tempted to have more savings. So he sees that, okay, if I buy uh, 49, I can get 200 savings dollar more. If I buy 79, I can 500. So in this case, I need to save 900. So I want to buy 500 once and 200 twice to get 900. So when Alistair purchased this, uh -huh. this is where Krishnan will get the RSP. Can you imagine? He Alistair purchases 179, he gets 50. And he purchases two of this 49, and then Krishnan will get 50. So in total, Krishnan is getting 100 RSP, and this 100 RSP is that simple. Krishnan doesn't have to do anything because what he does is just an email. That's it, okay? And what happened after this? If Alistair does the first reservation using whatever savings dollar he has, and then Krishnan is going to receive 25 savings dollar for one time only because this is a, a reward for our dear referrer because he has done his job to refer me to this beautiful product called Trip Saver. Okay, now does it stop here? No, it doesn't stop here because Alistair can also refer another friend. I have my best friend here sitting there doing nothing, but he, he enjoys traveling. So I say to Strada, Strada, I have one beautiful product I want to uh, share with you. So what I do is I go to my dashboard, I do, I do the same thing, refer a friend. I send an email to Strada, okay, and the, that particular template turns into an email. So, and then what happened is that Shraddha received the email and she also sees that, God, I'm going to receive 15 savings dollar. God, something dropped from the sky. I can't believe it. And she also signs up as a free member. So once she signs up, she becomes a PC2, a preferred customer too. So what does preferred customer two does? This will also bring Krishnan the money. How? Okay, PC2 makes the same way, makes a reservation and he sees or she sees at the site, got a blue box and he said, I can save more money. Then, of course, Shraddha is tempted. So Shraddha purchases one of the 49 or 79. And what will Krishnan receive? Krishnan will receive 10 RSP for the 49 purchase and then 25 RSP for the 79 purchase. Again, does PC2 know? Doesn't know. 
Does PC1 know? No, because we are just a member. So again, when when our dear Shraddha makes the first reservation, and what does Alistair get? Alistair being the referrer, because he thinks this product is good, so what I get, I will get a 15 savings dollar just one time for Shraddha's first reservation. So this is how it goes. Now we do a quick revision. Can you remember as a PC1, how much does Krishnan get? Yes, he will get 25 RSP for the 49 purchase and 50 RSP for the 79 purchase. Now coming to here, Shraddha is PC2. And what does Krishnan get? For 49 as a 10 RSP and then 79 for 25 RSP. As you can see here, the difference is if Krishnan gets as many as possible, the PC1, which is the first line referrer, he will get more RSP. This particular program under TripSaver is to make sure that you are not going against the QNET COM plan because the QNET COM plan is supposed to go deeper and deeper. But ours on TripSaver here, you will still enjoy the same RSP. You will still be in the business, but you are going sideways. You are going to your left and right to get as many PC1 as possible. Do you have to do anything with PC2? No. The best thing is PC1 will do the job for you for PC2 because they love the product, they refer PC2, and PC2 will do it will do the purchase of the 49 and 79, and this is when you as an IR will receive your RSP. That simple. Which product will give you that kind of luxury? Tell me. Okay, so you tell yourself the answer. Now there are some questions in here. Okay, interesting question. Mm, the first one is that Shift Saver is not available in India, so we will have to purchase from the World Plan. Uh, as mentioned, Hina, I can't answer you the questions, okay? Now, you can be a CU, you can also use your ID, IR ID, but how? Refer your upline, okay? I can help you on this, yeah, okay? Refer your upline. Now, the second question is from her as well. When I, I which ID do we log in to send the, okay, once you are a customer of Trip Saver, either a CU or an IR ID, that is where once you log in, you refer, use the My Dashboard, refer a friend to refer someone. That is where it should go, okay? So you shouldn't ask me the question is like which link or which email I should email to, okay? So just use that one. Yes, whoever rejected you, okay? Because you want to take revenge on them, right? Yes, how you take revenge is to sign them up as a trip saver customer that is your revenge on them okay because they will receive is a win-win situation they receive their savings dollar they will receive more savings but for you you make money you get more RSP okay now coming to the third question Hina another question also if we use our CUID okay and does the RSP get credited to the Indian okay uh, if you use your CRU ID and if your upline is under world plan, okay, or under India plan, there's no matter here. Of course, the whatever BVs and RSP will go to your upline. Okay, remember how it goes? If you are getting your retail customer because they are not interested in the business and so forth under QNET, whatever they purchase, the BVs and RSP will be going to you. Isn't it? So don't you shouldn't ask this question. Yeah, okay. So remember that the sale, the sting concept will be running under this program here. Okay, under Trip Saver. Now, what's the first reservation if they made on the second one? Okay, this re, this ten, one time savings dollar of twenty five to the IR and one time fifteen savings dollar to the PC one will only happen once for the first reservation only one time for the very first reservation. The subsequent purchase, no, you won't get anything. So what's your job is to make sure you get as many PC1 as possible, okay? Yes, okay, the PC1, you will get your RSP when they do the purchase on the 49 or the 79. Now, 
coming to this, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is this product is so easy to use because what you need to do is buy a product, be a trip saver customer in your under your IR ship, okay, and then use the my dashboard and start sending invitation to those people who rejected you okay by getting their email address and send we don't limit you you can send 1 million emails out okay when they sign up this is when you start f targeting on them okay because remember there is a way you can track their activity if they have registered if they make the first reservation if they purchase any additional points for ex uh, additional savings for example you check in here is registered but there's no first reservation perhaps you can receive you can give them a phone call hi shredder oh you sign up the member okay but uh, have you used it no okay uh, why not you make the first reservation and go somewhere nearer maybe somewhere in Pune or in Bangalore and so forth when they make the first reservation there is a point there because you receive your savings dollar 25 because you and I are and of course you can keep track if they have purchased additional savings and you can even share with them don't forget when you make a reservation if you see the blue box click on the blue box there was some exciting stuff in there you can do your own pitching because everything is true in the website everything is there is what they see is what they're gonna get you are not basically BSing okay what I mean the BSing is another thing yeah okay bullshitting okay so everything you see is true okay now um, okay there's one question very good question uh, from Mumeta is that which prices uh, are we benchmarking now we are getting the rates from all the online travel agency we consolidate them and put them as the public rate okay a public rate as you can see I will go back to one of the example just so I have London I'm going to do another one uh, maybe using Thailand okay using Thailand mm okay and then I put one date in here 20 20 there 22nd okay two nights day and then um, how does it go yeah let me finish uh, Mumita question okay I love you guys okay because you guys are very organized you ask question after another okay yep so hold on for a second let's wait for the search results okay wait 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 is coming okay let's see okay the result will come out okay let me check another questions okay hang on for a moment is either I my site is slow or the search engine is slow okay yep it's out now for example this Royal uh, a hotel Royal Bangkok okay Chinatown this hotel will give you an a savings of 165 okay 165 now the public price is 363 now if you are aware you can see there is a trip advisor in here so what you need to do is click on the trip advisor okay and most important thing is pick this name Hotel Royal Bangkok okay so you can choose either this name Chinatown okay or sometimes it might not work okay this is the hotel at Chinatown so the check-in date is on the 20th and 22nd out 20th and 22nd okay I got it here and then I find a hotel okay and then what will happen is that you can see down here these are the rate as you can see the cheapest one will be 39 okay 39 that is for two nights stay okay mm, it cannot be the same hotel let me check the Royal Bangkok okay I just want to be firm that what I'm showing you is the correct one so let's say it's the same room type same hotel Hotel Royal Bank of China okay Chinatown is the same hotel okay let me see what is in here 22nd okay what is the room type let me check this is the superior double superior room 
Okay, let me see if this is a double superior room. Double superior. Okay, this is without window. It's the same room type. Yep. Okay, just let me go back here. It's the same room type. Correct. Okay, now I have to change this into US dollar because this is same dollars, US dollar. So it's 39, uh, 28. Okay, so I move it to one night stay. Okay, let's see if this is going to be the lowest. Okay, now for this hotel, with the tax and everything for under agoda.com is 65.98. Okay, now back to here. Okay, so it says this is the rate that you are seeing as a public rate. Okay, the public rate at times it can be for the rate which the hotel is showing. Okay themselves on the website or sometimes it can be the rate from the online travel agency so now as you can see from here this is 199 it's definitely we are more expensive okay as you can see yeah this one is 65 and this is 199 we're more expensive by 130 dollars okay I have to admit here is more expensive however again we have to look at the terms and condition of this particular hotel if it is non is it refundable or not refundable okay so in here never never come to conclusion that we are more expensive because you have to check Apple to an Apple comparison okay so this one again I go back here to see if it is with breakfast or without breakfast this one is non breakfast okay this is non breakfast and for here okay we have to check to terms and condition of the hotel okay so read here Let me see, it's non refund. Okay, if you make the reservation here, there's no cancellation fee, exclusive benefits. So if you make a reservation now and then, it's no cancellation. Okay, so we should not refer to this particular rate because this is non refundable. Ours is refundable. So we have to be to Apple to an Apple comparison. So this is what I meant. If you make this reservation already with tripsaver.com, completed a whole transaction however then you notice that you go to Agoda God it's only 28 or 37 with breakfast you cannot use this one against us because this is non-refundable okay and it's non-refundable you should compare the one with cancellation okay yes you have to use this one to go against this us against us so if you look at here this is 79 point if you book this one, then you see the rate is 186.44. Okay. Now, if in this case, yes, you can go against us because our rate is only 198.46. Okay. Now, bear in mind, your purchase is based on the savings dollar on 164. Okay, as I mentioned, if you are purchasing from the uh, e-store is 200, so you should be able to get more savings. Okay, because the savings dollar is to reflect on whatever that you are going to get, you're going to pay. Okay, so ba basing on this, you are, we are more expensive by, um, let's say, about $10. However, my dear, what you can do out of this is, you can remember, I told you about the blue box. Okay, you can have on top another $78 another $78 it means that what you are really paying if you top up the um, uh, the $49 which which give you 200 savings dollar okay you'll be able to get to the maximum of 199 minus 78 that means if you were to get the additional savings here your nights is only at 121 US dollars which is about $60 per night it's definitely much much cheaper than this okay so there are two ways is how you look at it if this is the final amount yes it's fine look at the final amount here this is we are more expensive but if you were to pay 78 you are no, it's not you're paying 78, remember? You're paying only 49 for the 70, for the 200 savings dollar, okay? That means we only use the 78 out of the, 
out of the 200. That means if you are talking about this, you only use one third of 49. That means you only pay about uh, about 10, 10, 10, 10, about, about $12 for your uh, savings up to the $78. Dollars. Okay, so if you think of this way, this is how it works. Okay, so this um, Just one disclaimer this one disclaimer at this moment if you are booking on hotels like um, in places for example like uh, Malaysia uh, Thailand um, mm, Singapore except Singapore yeah, Malaysia Thailand Indonesia, okay um, Please bear in mind that at times our rate might not be the best. Okay, at times our rate might not be the best. Okay, so this is one thing I need to tell you in the beginning. But of course, uh, this product is just launched. I can work on. We can work on more and more for you. Um, okay, hang on for a moment. There are questions coming in. Just let me finish one after another. Okay, uh, I have one. I will come back to this question. Can we repeat the process of per making reservation and buying savings dollar there? Yes, you can do this. How you can do this is go to product. Okay, once you click on product, once you click on product, it will appear to 49 and 79. You can purchase Muted. from... Unmuted. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I'm sorry, just that there's a lagging. Okay, now, how you want to do a purchase, you can always go back to the product. This is only for who? This is only for the retail, the trip saver member. Okay, for the trip saver member. Remember, this is only for the trip saver member. But if you are an IR or retail customer under QNET, you can always go back to your e-store and buy. That will be more profitable in this, in this way. Okay, yes, the hotel, Jasmine, the hotel is worldwide. You can get, we have 400 over 1,000 hotels and resort database for you to choose from. And then, yes, Strata, Singapore can. Okay, will we have a demo? Yes, Hina, I will give you the demo account. Uh, when I send you the thank you email the next day, also along with the presentation slide and the login ID for the demo account. Okay, no worries. Mm -hmm. Um, Krishnan, I cannot answer you the question. How many hotels or resort are being ban benchmarked against the Indian online companies? I cannot tell you, and I will not have the list of the destinations and hotels because all this will fluctuate on day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so sometimes you can get, for example, in Delhi you can get 200. Another day you can only 150. So it's very difficult to say that. Uh, that's why there's no bench bench uh, marking. So what you need, simple way, you just have to do is like what I'm doing right this moment, do a comparison online, okay? So that's when you can see how many hotels are there. Now, one thing is, even you go to agoda.com, for example, like this case here, okay? They will only show you 1803 properties in Bangkok. It's the same way that we show, but remember, how many of these with the best rate you will not know, okay? Normally, all the online travel agency, they do this way is the top 100, I mean, because you have about 1,803 properties in here. Normally, the top 100 or the, the top 150, they are the one with the best rate because none of the online travel agency will have the best rate, okay? So our job here is to make sure that we can beat them. Okay, so if you don't trust me, what you can do is you can do a check on uh, Agoda comparing with uh, Booking.com. You can see the first 10 hotels that appear on the search will not be the same hotel. Because why? Because Agoda might have the best on this, this, this hotel. But a Booking.com will have the best on this, this, this hotel. Okay, so this is one thing that there's no benchmarking. Okay, and then let's say the customer instead of 49 and 79 and go to the world and purchase 1,000 savings dollar. Yes, okay. Uh, Vinod, your question again is very business oriented. Yes, the customer will have no way to go to your e-store and buy the 1,000 savings uh, package because they are not IR. Remember, the customers are those rejected customer 
to you that no business they need to join okay so this question is not valid okay so if these people are the retail customer that they are not in the business but they sign up under QNET yes the BBs and RSP goes to you okay I have to answer your question uh, Krishnan, in this case, because we don't have the non-refundable one, what we've shown there is all the refundable. So, uh, unfortunately for this, the Royal Hotel, we cannot do the one with non-refundable. Okay? And Ashi has the question, uh, we will have to pay for the 78. Yes, because your 78 is based on the 200 savings dollar, which is $49, which I have already explained to you. Yes, because if you were to take the 49 uh, you know, 49, how to do the calculation for each dollar that you spend. Because you pay 49 for 200 savings dollar, right? Okay, so let's say you are getting 78 savings dollar. You are getting this. So how much is the US dollar that you're paying? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm using a very layman calculation because my mathematics is never good, okay? So what you need to do is 49 times 78 divided by 200 X. So then your X go under whatever amount. So it will come like 49 times 78, 3822 divided by 200. Then we'll have a, a, an amount on the X, which is the how much really that you are paying for. 3822 divided by 200. So 19.11 is the amount that you pay for the 78 US dollar savings so in reality how much is the real savings of these 78 that is 58 oops that is 58 USD oh, sorry that is the 58.89 savings dollars okay so this is 58.89 is the real savings dollar that you are uh, getting because as I mentioned, 49, you will get 200 savings dollar, but only 78 savings dollar will be used to transact this reservation to make sure that you have the top savings. So again, what is the real, real, real savings that you're getting? Very simple. You just do 49 times 78 divided by 200 so you can get the X. The X is 19.11. So 19.11 minus the 78, so the real savings that you're getting is 58.89 for this particular reservation on here. Okay, so I hope I have answered your question on this. Uh, uh, Aisha, uh, Ashi, I have answered your, this question. Yeah, okay. So, mm -hmm. so the leftover Krishnan 122 then will add on to whatever is in here. For example, this reservation is 164.08, which is you're going to use fully to pay for 199. Because you top up another 200, so you will be able to use 78 out of the 200. So what in the balance here will be 200 minus 78. There will be $122 left in here. Okay, so the 122 will not have expiration. It will sit in here until you use them up. Okay, so other question. Okay, any plans? Oh, okay, any plans here to get tickets? Now the tickets will come uh, in the later stage, in the step, uh, sorry, in the phase two or phase three. Okay, so in this case, what will happen is like. Um, you, we have to face the fact, the reality out there. Air tickets are very competitive, okay? We have so many of this, uh, uh, like kayak.com, priceline.com. Always remember, if you want to verify what I said here, go to them, and then you check the tickets, and then, end of the day, your ticket that you're paying, it will not be cheaper than the air ticket you're, you're booking directly. The most important things, do a comparison yourself. Go to airindia.com. You check the air ticket for the uh, specific route. Uh, for example, Air India from Del uh, from Mumbai to Singapore, for example, return tickets. 
check what is the rate given in Air India. Then you again go to kayak.com for the same kind of uh, arrangement. Uh, uh, Mumbai to Singapore on the same date. You will notice that kayak is more expensive. Why? Because they also charge you. Um, for me, on, on Singapore case, is they will charge me $30 Sing dollars for their transaction because there's a service charge, something like this. So at the end of the day, the air ticket that you purchase from Air India will be much cheaper than uh, you book from kayak.com, which is one of the Priceline family. Okay, now back to here, why I'm saying this is like for trip saver is the same thing. We will not be able to beat the flight tickets because all these airlines, they don't really need us. Okay, so to make sure that you get benefits out of it will be when you book a ticket, okay, which is at the price shown in TripSaver. So for a certain amount, for example, your air ticket will cost you 150 US dollars. Now we will have a, a range in there, for example, you pay $100, you can get uh, 5 or 10 uh, savings dollar as a return. Okay, something like a reward back to you as a re that will be used for your future reservation. So once you purchase the product, for example, your air ticket is 200, okay, we give you a uh, uh, $100 equivalent to uh, 10 savings dollar. So when you do a transaction for uh, 200, that means you have 20 savings dollar. This 20 savings dollar will be deposited into your uh, your savings bank so you can use a 20 savings dollar for your future transaction okay so in this way you still have your savings but the saving is not upfront but it will be deposited once you have done your reservation once you have flown so end of the day you are still benefiting okay so it's not in terms of savings dollar it's not in in terms of savings but is the somehow somehow we call that as a rebate later Okay, which will be turned into savings dollars to be banked in into your savings bank. Okay, so um, uh, Jasmine, definitely the rate will, uh, you can beat the rates from the travel agency. Okay, most of the online travel agency, I would say at least 90% will be able to beat the travel agency rate. Okay, because unless the travel agency is a wholesaler, then they will be able to beat one or two hotels in terms of their rates, okay? So, um, there's one question from, uh, okay, oh, no, no, Krishna was replying, Ash, Asa, Ash, okay, Aisha, Aishi, and then all in all, amazing, okay, we're raw, Aisha, got it. Okay, sure. Now, I will be able to share with you the video, so I will also send you the presentation slide, and I will really, really appreciate, after you have got the demo account, you can log on to TripSaver, experience it yourself. When you see there are some glitches and so forth, please, okay, Yes, Krishna can ask me that, yeah? So please make sure that you put that in an email and send it to us because that is very important because you are going to use the product yourself. You are going to, to introduce this product. You have to make sure the product is in good condition, isn't it? Okay, so with your help, because we only have 20 people in here, maximum we only have uh, 40 eyes, okay, but there are eyes out there you guys, okay, collectively will help us to sense a lot of things which we can have overlooked. So after that, please don't send me one email, Alistair, I love your presentation, and I have this question to you, one question. After I reply, after a few minutes, you have another question, please don't do this because I'm not sitting here answering the emails, yeah? There are so many emails coming in here because I have to be responsible to your questions and giving you the right answer. So make sure you give me a set of questions, okay? Not one question and after another. A set of questions so I'll be able to answer you at one go so you can get the clear picture. You can proceed with the next part of your research on TripSaver. That will be more time consuming. Uh, less time consuming and more productive, okay? So, um, there is one question, okay. Uh, no, the referral email is the email, okay, you can send to other people, whoever people, but I understand that a lot of people are very smart. For example, uh, I am an IR, I send an email, I create 10 emails under uh, Gmail. 
okay, Alistair 1, Alistair 2, Alistair 3, Alistair 4, and under 10. And then I put the email, refer a friend to all this Alistair 1 at gmail.com, Alistair, and remember, it will not help you at all. Don't do this because it will not help you because none of them will sign up. Okay, none of them, because when they sign up, you won't get anything if they don't purchase anything. So you are basically lying to yourself. Okay, so make sure that you send to those people who really are customer out there, potential out there. Okay, yes, once you send out the email, because that is a an activation code, the activation code will be under your attributes. That means your IR ID is IR123456. Uh, sorry, I I want to three four five six. Then the referral, the ref, the activation code will all go under you. So when they purchase the product, when they sorry, when they activate, when they purchase the forty nine and seventy nine, all this will be captured under your IRID. That's why you will receive your your RSP. Okay, so. Yes, that's why right, Krishnan, that is one point here. That's why you see when you have the refer a friend, okay, this is to answer your question. This is very good questions, yeah? Okay. That's why when you click on here, refer a friend, this particular box for you to type in the message is left empty. That's why you can always da 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 and then you can put here best regard Krishnan. And then plus ninety one five two two one two uh one two one two five eight. So this is where you'll be able to target these people. If this per person ever missed the email, but you remember Krishna was the one who sent the email, or the activation code is already used by someone because the person forwarded the email to another person, or the activation code has already expired. So there is a reference point, oh, Krishnan was the one who sent me, and I can always call Krishnan. That's why this message box is optional, and it makes it possible for you to type your message. This is for you, okay? So hope that you answer your question. Yes, any blemishes, any flaws, come to us, okay? Because we need to know them. Okay, so Krishna, I hope that I have answered your question on this. Okay, so guys, I hope that you are benefiting from this Trip Saver uh, training session. And of course, um, I hope that you will attend another session because the more you attend, the better you get. And of course, along the side, I'll also share a lot of questions with you guys because those questions are asked by your um, your uh, those previous attendees or could be your upline, could be your best friend and so forth. And now all these questions collectively, you when you see the email that I sent to you, you will see that a lot of answers. So my they might be the question that you will be, uh, you know, you, you might want to ask, but it's already answered in there, okay? So with this, I really, really thank you for your participation in today's webinar and um, your support, your experiencing on this trip saver is really, really, really helpful to us, okay? So um, please wait for my email tomorrow. Okay, I will send that the first thing in the morning, along with the demo accounts, with the presentation, and of course with some questions in there, which has the answer, which was answered by me as well. Okay, and then of course, um, um, okay, what else I owe you? Okay, I think that that's it. I owe you. Yeah. Okay, and the video. Yes. I will not forget the video, okay? I will record, I've already recorded, okay? Then they will be turned into uh, a downloadable videos, okay? But please don't miss you off the video, and especially my beautiful voice, yeah? Please don't do that, okay? And don't put any uh, beautiful, handsome guys over there, okay? Yeah, thank you so much for your participation, and um, I'll see you some other time. If you're from India, Okay, have a good uh, evening. If you are in UAE, have a good afternoon. And if in other part of the world, okay, uh, I wish you good morning or uh, good night. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye-bye.